Hello, welcome to another BYU Hawaii tutorial for Drupal webmasters and users. This tutorial will talk more about content types and their importance when creating um, Drupal sites, especially when you have um, a lot of content and you want to categorize it. Uh, pretty much content type is uh, creating a separate uh, table on the database and classifying your content. The, the importance of creating content types is that it's, it'll be easy for you to export um, a specific uh, content to another database or another website and at the same time it will be easy for you to filter uh, your content should you decide to uh, find specific content in your site and then another importance of uh, content types is for example let's say that you have multiple users and you want uh, those users to have um, administrative rights to certain content so that they can update it and by having multiple content types and different roles and assigning each uh, role to a specific content type makes it possible for a certain user to only access that content type or that content and make changes to it. So I'm just going to show you some of how to create a content type and how to uh, give proper permissions to that content type to a, a specific user. So if you go under content management under content type you'll have for example the default content uh, types here such as image, page, and uh, story panel and as you enable more modules that deal with content you'll see by default those content types available here but for example let's say that you want to create a specific content type for the iLead site and uh, only allow a specific user to um, access that uh, you, what you would do is you do add content content type and so here it says you have to put the human readable uh, name of the content type so we're just gonna say test um, tutorial content type and the machine readable has to be all lowercase and you can use a uh, underscore if you want content type and then you can give a description here and uh, this, such description would be uh, create content only for test tutorial. Okay. Now here as you can see you have the submission form settings. Uh, if you want to omit the body content uh, type or uh, the, the field in your um, when you do create content you'll see the body field. If you do not want the body field in the uh, the page you can just remove the body here and you won't see the the body. Uh, however you cannot do that with the title. The title uh, comes in default um, on your on your Drupal page but if you want to omit the title you can use the CSS injector to omit the title. Um, here you have the workflow settings uh, as you can notice uh, if you want every page that you create by default to be published you can leave that there and uh, if you're using any specific views or uh, a default front page and you want to promote the new content that you have to the front page then you would leave that as well but we don't want we don't want every content created um, on our site to uh, to go to the front page so we're just going to take that off and then there are other options as um, create a new version if you want to do version control if you want every page to have an attachment uh, functionality functionality available you would enable the attachment also the same as uh, if you want to attach images but if you want to create a content type that does not you do not allow your user to update. Um, I mean, update images or uh, insert images or attach files or Im images. Then this is the place where you would control that and say, I don't want my user to to, to do specific specific functionalities to our content. Um, another option here is con com comment settings. You know, if you want to have an interactive page where users can post comments, you can come here and uh, specify if the uh, uh, anonymous user comes in and is able to read or write or um, you can control that functionality there for comments and then there is additional image settings here um, you can control what the output of the image is whether you want it to be a thumbnail or a full size and when you're done you do save content type once you've saved the content type You can also uh, 
give specific access to a user <coughs> by going to edit we've created our um, test content uh, type right here when you do edit you're given the, the also the functionality to access the controlled access as to who can edit who can view or who can delete your content type so for this example we can allow all our anonymous users authenticated users and administrators to view that content type but as far as edit any content type we can create a new role and say that specific role can only edit or delete that content type another option under uh, manage fields is that you can have additional uh, fields to your um, to your uh, content type so you can have other options such as creating a link a user reference a node reference um, if you want to put a decimal uh, there are other modules that you can enable to have additional fields on your content type and when you're done you can take a look at the other um, controls such as RSS you can create RSS for that content type thanks